How to add a timeline to your Wix website. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how to do so. Now, there are going to be a, you could say, more than just one way to add a timeline to your Wix, but I'm going to show you the one that actually, um, for me, works best because you can customize it to your liking. Uh, and I mean a lot of customization. Uh, and yes, it may be paid at some point, but you know, you can actually start for free. Um, and also if you meet the requirements, you can also just use it for free. Uh, but, uh, let's just go ahead and talk about it. So the first thing is going to be opening up your Wix website. And then from here, you just want to make up some space for your, um, for your timeline. So in my case, I'm just going to add a section here and we will just use this empty section. So now that you have your section ready, we're actually going to be opening up a new browser tab. And we are going to be searching for commonninja.com. So as you can see on the screen, we have commonninja.com. Uh, for some reason, it's not working for me. So I may have misspelled something or something's not. Let me just Google search it this time. Uh, try to open it up from here. Okay, so for some reason. It, oh, so it's common ninja, but there's one N between the common and ninja anyways so you get the point just go to common ninja.com and then from here we can just go in and search for the um, timeline widget so just go in and log in first because you may need to actually do that in the future because they are going to detect whether you have um, a widget already or not because i believe with the free version you can actually just use one widget that's what makes it different so in here we can just click on create widget and then we would want to search for timeline. And then this one is going to appear for us. So just go ahead and click on create a timeline. And then from here, obviously, we can feel free to um, adjust it to our liking and basically uh, customize it to our likes. So the first thing that you may want to do is go to the left panel and you want to go to look and feel and you will, si you will see the layouts option. So you can actually see uh, adjust the layouts for the timeline. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to make it like that, I believe. But, you know, you can just go ahead and pick whichever one that suits you best. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just I'm just going to go for this one. Okay, so here, obviously, you also have more stuff uh, like the card layouts and design colors and these things. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. So just go ahead and make sure you go through the settings and make sure you set it up to, to be whatever you want. So with the timeline, you just have these items. So in them, you can feel free to remove them if you want or edit them to your liking. If you want to edit them, just click on the arrow right next to them. Change the title, so test. And you can also change the uh, subtitle, which is the date, uh, ti uh, title, color, image, uh, and also the description, which is the text right down there. Uh, and you can pretty much, you know, change whatever you want to change in here. And if you want to add more to it, you can click on add item. And as you can see, we have another item now added to that list. So anyways, just go ahead and customize it to your liking. And once you're happy with it, you just want to, to click on save changes on the top right. And then you would want to save it in a place like that. And then you, all you need to do is just go ahead and copy your code like so. And we can just go back to Wix. Uh, we would want to click on add elements and then embed code. And then we just want to click on embed HTML and just paste in the code right over here. Click on update and we are pretty much set. We have our timeline and it's just going to load in in a few seconds, as you can see. And obviously you can feel free to resize it to your liking. So this is pretty much all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.